am Adriana Citlari Ramirez, Doctor in Physics and Chief Geophysicist at TES, and I have been selected as Honorary Lecturer for Europe by SEG. As the pandemic has changed our lifestyles, the tour is now a virtual one. And the first lecture is going to be on the 25th of February, and I am personally invite you to, inviting you to attend. I have themed my lecture around the fluctuations in the oil price in a timeline where major historic events can be identified alongside key technological developments in seismic acquisition and processing. The history of oil and gas in Northern European waters in particular started in the 1960s. So when addressing pretty much from the 1960s till present day, my lecture will focus more closely in large geophysical advances and their implementation in this, in this area, as well as major field uh, discoveries, hydrocarbon field discoveries. The maturity of prolific basins in Northern European waters is well known. The creaming curve has turned almost flat. Thus, the spur capacity of the existing infrastructure is continuously increasing. And, well, that's soon a liability. So, we are looking to find what we haven't found in this area, despite the use of the most modern geophysical technology, uh, the, the analysis of, of this, this data, and having at least three generations of seismic in average in these prolific basins. So again, we need to find what we haven't found, and this motivates the need to not only use the most modern technology, but look into more details. So the third part of my talk will focus on these more technical details, including internal multiples, uh, including working in a feedback loop with multidisciplinary teams in a more target-oriented both survey design and processing and well, imaging inversion of the data. In other words, I would like to talk about the details that matter in this reality. So, once more, I would really like to see you and I would like to invite you to attend this honorary lecture on seismic technology in Northern European waters and the prevalence of multiples.